Now watch, you check it lately, that North Pole has been moving and it is now passing the North Pole on its way to Siberia. What? On top of all that, the magnetic field is getting weaker. Mm -hmm. And we think it's going to get weaker and weaker until it goes away. And then when it comes back again, it'll be in reverse because it flips every time. We worry that when the magnet field goes away to flip again, by the, this is called a dynamo effect. When it goes away and flips, that while it's not there, will it put all of us at risk? Yeah. So we go back in the fossil record because it's flipped before. And if you go to the points where it has flipped, there's no periods of mass extinction. Oh. So if it wreaked havoc, it was not global catastrophe. Right. So I'm not so worried about it. I, I, don't, I can't speak for cat owners, but those who own dogs, you know oh. that every time you come back from wherever you went, the dog is happy and it's jumpy and it wants to lick you in the face. Even if you just went to get mail from the mailbox, yeah. they delight in your return. If you want to take them out for a car ride, they are the first in the car. <laughs> They jump in. They don't care where it's going, but they're going somewhere. Yeah. They're some of the most joyous creatures that live among us. And no, I'm not a dog psychologist, <laughs> but let me offer a possible, a plausible account of this. Okay. Uh, dogs don't live as long as we do. An old dog is like 14 and then they die. We live to 90 if we're, you know, eat well and wear a seatbelt. 